This is part 2 of ASP.NET Core Razor Pages tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what has changed in the project file in ASP.NET Core 3.0. If you are new to the project file and want a detailed explanation, then check out this part 4 of ASP.NET Core tutorial for beginners course. Let's open the folder that contains our Razor Pages project. The easiest way to do that is to right click on the project name in the Solution Explorer and then select Open folder in File Explorer. The project file is right here. The programming language determines the file extension. We are using C Sharp as a programming language, so the file extension is .csproj. CS for C Sharp and proj for project. If our programming language is Visual Basic, then the file extension will be .vbproj. To edit the project file in Visual Studio, right click on the project name in the Solution Explorer and then select Edit Project File or simply double click on the project name. Notice at the top we have a reference to Microsoft.NET.STK.Web. This has not changed between ASP.NET Core 2.2 and 3.0. Here we have the project files side by side. In both the cases, notice there is a reference to the assembly microsoft.net.stk.web and then we have the target framework node. This node specifies the framework that we are targeting. At the moment, within this project, we are using .NET Core 3.0. So the value that we have here is called the target framework moniker or TFM in short. We can either change this moniker value in the project file right here manually or we can also do that from the project properties window. So right click on the project name and then select properties. The target framework is .NET Core 3.0. So in the project file, we have the corresponding moniker value Netcore App 3.0. Now let's change the target framework to .NET Core 2.0. And then if we take a look at the project file, notice the moniker value has changed to Netcore App 2.0. Let's change it back to 3.0. In .NET Core 2.2 project file, a package reference to the meta package that is Microsoft.ASP.NET-Core.app is also present. This package reference is no longer present in .NET Core 3.0. Instead, it is included as a framework reference and we can see that within the Solution Explorer under the Frameworks node right here. This meta package has no content of its own. It's a list of other packages. In .NET Core 3.0, some of the packages are removed from this meta package. For example, the packages that provide social logins like Google, Facebook, Twitter, etc. are removed. Similarly, Entity Framework Core package is also removed. To see the complete list of all the packages that are removed in .NET Core 3.0, visit this URL. So we can see the assemblies removed from the meta package in 3.0. So if we scroll down, we can see the complete list right here. What if we need these packages in our project? For example, we want to do data access using Entity Framework Core. So how do I include Entity Framework Core package in my project? Well, these packages are still available as NuGet packages. So use the NuGet Package Manager to download and install. The easiest way to launch NuGet Package Manager is to right click on the project name and then select Manage NuGet Packages. Make sure you are on the Browse tab and the package that we want to install is Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore. Here is the package and from the drop down list right here, you can select the version that you want to install. We want to install 3.0 and then click the install button. While this package is being installed, keep an eye on what's happening under the dependencies node right here. We now have a new node, Packages, and if we expand that, we can see Entity Framework Core and all of its dependent packages are installed. And if we take a look at the project file, notice we have a package reference to the Entity Framework Core included. To install and uninstall these packages, we can use the NuGet Package Manager or simply by editing this project file. Notice what happens when we remove this entry and save the project file. Keep an eye on this packages node in the Solution Explorer. So let's delete this entry and then save our project file. There we go. Entity Framework Core Package and all of its dependencies are uninstalled. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.